make some serious cuts. Well, those cuts are going to continue to come down. We passed an education bill. Governor vetoed it. Uh, we passed an insurance bill, by the way, too. Governor vetoed that, too. Hell, he was Republican. He vetoed that, too. So I don't know where the kind of deal is going to go, but uh, it really wasn't tough here. But the one I was most disappointed in that he vetoed uh, was one that we were trying to do to prevent the Florida Department of Transportation from putting medians down the middle of the highway in business sections that affect a lot of people in this room. And when they talk about putting hardcore medians down the center of Cortez, and down 41 that stops the small business people from having left in and left out. It puts a lot of small business people out of business. And so we passed that, and obviously the governor was much smarter than the other 160 who voted for it, uh, but they vetoed that bill, and it's really a shame because that's gonna put a lot of small businesses out of business if we don't continue to try to bring that under control. And all I ask them to do is meet with the business community, meet with the chambers of commerce and the county commissioners before they put meetings down and blocked off businesses from the businesses that they have built up over the years. We tried to do the least damage we could, and it was very, very tough when you're looking at those issues. The one bill I was proud of that we did get passed, and there's several, and I know that everybody else is going to be talking about a lot of other issues, but the PACE bill, is so therefore I'm challenging the county commission to really look into this. And what it allows you to do is, let's say that you want storm shutters on your home, or you want to improve it for hurricane mitigation, or better yet, if you want to prevent it or do something with renewable energy, and where you want to put photovoltaic on your house or put solar hot water heaters on your house, and everybody likes photovoltaic until the salesman tells them to write them a check for $30,000, and then they have a heart attack and say, well, I, I really don't want to lower my power bill that much. <coughs> and yet they really truly do. And what this would allow, if the county commission sets it up, would allow that to be financed actually by your property taxes. And the idea is that the lifetime of the soul solar system is approximately 30 years and so if they finance it over a 30 year period of time the savings to your power bill would be substantially greater than what it would be for the cost of the going on your property taxes and the county could use their bonding authority to do that and that way if you sell the house later on then that bill would pass on to the person who's also going to benefit from it instead of you having to write the whole thing so we're really trying to increase the amount of renewable energy in the state there's a lot of things that we can do and I think we just got to work stronger. I know a lot of questions will come up later, possibly about the oil situation. I don't think any of us have any answers, but we'll sure be happy to help them. I'd just rather turn it over, let the other guys, um, no, Nancy's not here, the other guys tell you what they did. But one thing I got to tell you, and we've said it before, I think Daryl Roussan said it best last year, this is a super delegation. And Manatee County is sort of going to miss the leadership of Bill and Ron has provided to us over the years. Uh, and I, I know we've got some other great people coming up. But I got to tell you, when you're losing your rules chair and your speaker pro tem all at the same time, that's a hell of a hit for the county. But it's been a great year, and I appreciate everything everybody's doing. Thank you.